our next speaker, Heidi Laine, is from CSC. <laughs> she works there uh, as a customer solutions coordinator uh, in data management and interoperability group. Uh, one of her roles at uh, CSC is to act as the Research Data Alliance Finland National Node Coordinator, in which role we have asked her to speak today. Uh, she is also uh, the Secretary of the Finnish Committee for Research Data, which is a national committee for International Science Council's Data Committee CODATA and a member of CODATA International Data Policy Committee. So, but today we want to hear more about RDA and the services. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction and, and thank you for the opportunity to, to speak to this uh, distinguished audience here and, and, uh, and online. So, um, RDA, that's uh, short for Research Data Alliance. And I will uh, start by introducing to you to uh, RDA. Uh, what is it? Uh, what does it do? Uh, why should you care? And then, then I'll present a few um, RDA outputs and, uh, and then a uh, few uh, commercials about upcoming events. So uh, RDA is an international organization. It's a member organization that has uh, just recently we broke the 8,000 uh, members limit. It's a, was it a, the latest number was 8,020 or something like that, but it's, it's a continuous, continuously growing. Uh, these uh, members, the individual members, they come from 137 countries. There are also 56 organizational and affiliated members. Uh, the, the foundation of, of RDA are the interest groups and especially the working groups that they, they produce the work, the, the, uh, what is called RDA outputs. Uh, so it's a, this uh, grassroots type organization. So all of these, these outputs come from, from the members, not, not from the, the technical advisory board or, or the secretariat. They are just there to to facilitate. Um, a recent addition to, to the uh, RDA uh, governance and layers of governance are the European national nodes. There is nine of them currently. There is uh, just now an open call for, for uh, additional nodes and then there will be uh, uh, one uh, call more and, uh, and eventually the, the target is, is to have 22 national nodes. And the, the Finnish node is, is one of the current nine, the first wave of nodes. There are uh, two main events per year where the, the groups, interest groups and working groups uh, convene and, and discuss and work. Uh, they're called plenary meetings. And, and uh, the first one this year is in uh, Philadelphia, more commonly known as Philadelphia, sorry for the typo, uh, in, in just uh, some, some weeks' time. And what is very, very exciting is that we're going to have the, the second plenary of this year in Finland, uh, in, in Espoo and, and Helsinki. So uh, it will mainly take place in, in Otaniemi, some, some of the, the side events and co-located events will take place in in Helsinki. So uh, Aalto University is the, is the main organizer, and there's uh, University of Helsinki uh, uh, and uh, a consortium of, of other organizers as well. Um, so jungle is, is the word of, of the day, and, and here you see the, the RDA jungle. So these are the organizational members. There's quite, quite a few of them. So, so RDA packs punch, uh, definitely, but, uh, but at the same time, uh, there are a lot of voices, a lot of plurality. Uh, on the, on the left-hand side, you see the affiliate members where, um, 
the code data that was mentioned in my introduction is is also one. So so all of these things t uh, tie together. The European Commission is is a very significant supporter of of RDA and uh, and EOSC is is something that has uh, also been been widely discussed uh, and developed as uh, in, in the RDA context as well. Uh, here's a picture of the nodes, so you can see where the, the current nodes come from. Uh, we are uh, in this picture at least somewhat alone there in, in the north, but, but in the, uh, this, this ongoing uh, call for national nodes, uh, at I know that at least Denmark has put in a, uh, an application for a national node. Hopefully there'll be other Nordic countries to join us as well. Uh, so, what is the raison d'etre? Why, why does RDA exist? Um, the RDA vision is for researchers and innovators to openly share data across technologies, disciplines and countries to address the grand challenges of so society. And, uh, and the mission is to build the social and technical bridges that enable open sharing and reuse of data. So, uh, so open science is, is uh, very much uh, at the core of, of RDA activities and in enabling uh, open science. So the uh, RDA Finland node, um, it is housed at, at CSC, IT Center for Science, and it gets uh, funding from uh, uh, RDA EU for project, which is uh, uh, funded fr from the Horizon 2020 uh, Euro European Commission uh, funding scheme. I am the node coordinator, uh, as was as, as uh, Pauli said in his introduction. Um, I have been an, the node coordinator since uh, beginning of February, so so uh, quite a recent. <laughs> addition to um, to the RDA Finland uh, ranks but uh, I have been involved with with RDA for for quite a f uh, number of years already just uh, the other side of of the table as an early career researcher and and as a, a science policy expert and and so RDA is very close to my heart and I'm really really pleased to be able to to um, to develop it, it in the national context and, and, and of course also, also in the international context as part of the, the family of the, the national nodes. The, what are the national nodes for? Uh, well, they, they act as a central contact point between the national research community, national uh, uh, research data practitioners and then the, the in international level of of RDA, but but of course uh, it, it is not the the idea is not to have everything uh, travel through the the national node. We don't aim at being a, like a bottleneck between the the national com uh, national community community and the international community. There, are, it is also uh, strongly encouraged to to form direct links and, and alliances to the international level so so one of the, the one of the aims is is to to encourage people to join RDA to become RDA members so if you are not an RDA member yet i hope that at the end of of today uh, you you are or at least you've made the decision to to uh, join as a member, uh, it's it's very easy. There are no costs, only benefits. Uh, well, unless you you consider getting a few emails uh, a, a cost, but life is trade-offs, and I think this is a very good one. Um, we also try to foster a diverse data community of stakeholders across domains, and and my uh, dream is to to um, create around the, the Finnish RDA node this community of, of both 
uh, people working in, in data support and, and uh, research administration and, and researchers as well to, to create a space where, where researchers and, and people uh, whose job is to support research and researchers could, could meet and, and uh, discuss research data related issues. And of course, the, the National Open Science Coordination is an important context for this. So, so that's um, something that we are definitely not competing with, but, but uh, joining and, and cooperating with. And uh, events, running events is, is a big part of, of the work. And uh, there is an upcoming event in April. Uh, I, will, uh, I have another slide for the, for the dates. Um, so what, what's in it for you? I already mentioned that there are only benefits, no cost. Well, wh what are the benefits in addition to the emails? Because no one is getting enough of emails, right? Uh, there are grants, opportunities for grants, travel grants for plenary meetings. Uh, they are in, often in, in very nice locations, uh, such as Otaniemi. Uh, there, of course, uh, no travel grants needed, uh, but uh, I, I personally, for example, have enjoyed of these these grants uh, first in uh, in for the plenary that was in in Tokyo, where I attended as an early career grant recipient, and uh, then uh, in uh, in Berlin that was uh, almost exactly a year ago, uh, where I received an expert grant as a, as a research. Uh, administration uh, of, uh, professional. There are also out, uh, grants for, for um, implementing or piloting uh, outputs and then uh, grants for RDA ambassadors who, uh, who uh, promote RDA from a, like a discipline-specific point of view. Um, of course, the community, as you saw in the previous slides, with uh, with all the logos of the organizations, uh, it's a it's a really wide wide community, and and there are many he heavy hitters from from the uh, research community, research data community. So so it's a it's a very uh, good opportunity to to reach out to those those actors and, and stakeholders. Uh, in the RDA Finland group alone counts 166 um, members. Uh, all of them are not, not from F Finland. So, so the, how, how it works is, is that there is under the RDA website, there is a specific site for the national node where you can uh, basically just click and your, your name will be added there and you will receive information from those activities. So it's very e easy, very low threshold, very open. And, and of course, then again, the, the upcoming Finnish plenary. It's a, it's a great, great opportunity for networking. Network like no tomorrow. I think my inner millennial took over when I was right doing these slides. So. And then, then the outputs. So, so that's also a, a big benefit, and and that's uh, really what what RDA is for: to creating solutions and answers to real life research data challenges. So, um, there are currently ten endorsed recommendations. Uh, eight are are under review. Uh, on the way to become official research data alliance uh, recommendations, and then there are 12 supporting outputs currently. There are some 30 working groups working at the moment, so uh, that gives you an idea of, of the, the volume of the, the outputs. Some of the working groups have already produced some outputs, and they, they uh, continue to build on, on those, and some are, are just... Uh, have not yet delivered. Um, in a national node event last year, um, uh, Rina Salmivali was, was the node coordinator at the time. Um, 
there was a vo vote about these uh, outputs, what were the most interesting ones. And we are planning on, on uh, translating or, or in some other way localizing these, at least these outputs. And, and then if, if that uh, works out, uh, this is something that we, we might continue on, on doing further. Uh, the, the four outputs that were uh, voted as the most interesting were metadata standards directory. Uh, well, I'll, I, will, I won't read them because I have uh, one slide f for each. And these are, are just, these slides are, are shamelessly copied from screenshots of, uh, of uh, uh, this card stack that RDA has crea created of these outputs. And, and these card stacks are are available outside uh, as hard copies uh, on the table over there by the registration, but they are, of course, also available online. So just real quickly to go through these, these uh, outputs, uh, just to give you an idea what kind of things comes, come out of RDA. Uh, the metadata standards directory, uh, the, the, it, it was about uh, enabling discovery of metadata standards. So the working group took the uh, UK Digital Curation Centre, DCC, uh, metadata standards catalogue and uh, enriched and expanded that. And there is uh, currently available a prototype directory in uh, GitHub service, uh, which is transparently maintained, uh, which, which maintenance is transparent, that there's a version control. So those are the benefits that, that GitHub offers. Um, and, and of course, links to these this outputs can be found on the RDA website. Then the dynamic data citation methodology uh, output uh, I am uh, personally more familiar with because uh, the Finnish Committee for Research Data uh, uh, created and, and published a, a national data citation roadmap uh, for Finland uh, uh, a year or so, so ago. The, uh, the document is available in, in uh, Doria uh, repository of the national uh, library and and uh, we use this output uh, as a, a basis for for that work or or one uh, one input for for that work so the challenge there was uh, was how to cite data that changes and and link to it in publications and and uh, we're not talking about cumulative data here but uh, but a, a dynamic data that can change in any place not just accumulate so the working group created a simple scalable mechanism that allows precise machine actionable citations. And this is uh, based on preserving query data. Uh, uh, after the, the output was released, the workshop uh, working group didn't stop working, but, but have, has um, uh, facilitated uh, pilots, uh, a piloting of these uh, these recommendations uh, in a number of, of data repositories. So that's a very interesting. And yeah, I mentioned the Finnish data citation roadmap already. Uh, then there's the workflows for research data publishing. Uh, the uh, challenge there was to uh, create understanding on, on data publishing workflows. And that, uh, this workshop uh, working group has um, produced a, a paper, a, do, a report that identifies, analyzes, and categorizes main building blocks of data publishing workflows. Uh, it also assesses current situation and, and gives recommendations. And this uh, report is available on the Zenodo repository. So if anyone is interested in, in this, I strongly recommend going there. And, and, uh, and of course, the link to the the Zenodo uh, document is also available on the RDA website. And then the last, uh, last one of these four examples is the persistent identifier type registry. Uh, the challenge there was defining standard core PID uh, persistent identifier information types to enable simplified verification of data identity and integrity. And the, the output or uh, one of the outputs was a report that defines principles uh, for uh, PIDs. Uh, it, it also gives use cases and, and is also available on Zenodo. And uh, what is uh, especially interesting and exciting about this 
particular uh, output is that it's been uh, uh, adopted as the European Commission uh, as an uh, ICT technical specification that uh, that can be used as a reference in public procurement. And it, it's not an, the only RDA output that uh, has received a similar uh, uh, stamp of approval from, from the EU. EC. So the, there is also this kind of connection between the European Commission and, and the RDA. Some of the the outputs can be can be in, in identified in this way. So there you go. And now now for the commercials. Uh, so there is an upcoming uh, meeting and workshop of the RDA Finland node uh, at the University of Helsinki Tiedekulma Think Corner on the 25th of, of April, starting at, at 10 in, in the morning. And the theme is, is sensitive data, uh, which I know is, is super topical. And, and so uh, I'm, I'm sure that we're going to have really interesting discussions there. Uh, there will be updates uh, coming soon. Uh, a newsletter of, of the National Node will be released as soon as I, I get to it. <laughs> so. Um, if you want to receive that newsletter, uh, please go and become uh, and and register as an RDA member, and then go to the RDA Finland website and and uh, click there that you you want to receive updates um, on on that, and also um, follow CSE channel channels, which which we also uh, take advantage of of for the RDA propaganda. And then last mention of the of the plenary, uh, which is uh, in October twenty third to twenty fifth. This is going to be the best event of the year, so you should definitely make sure that you don't miss that. So that's it for me. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, please don't hesitate to contact me at any time. Here's the the uh, web address for the for the RDA Finland website. Thank you. Thank you, Heidi. Questions to Heidi? Uh, Anka. Um, hi. Hi. Uh, I promise this is not a very hard question. Congratulations <laughs> for your new position. I think RDA gained a lot by hiring you. So there are things that uh, have been done before, there are things that you will continue, there are things that you will improve, and most likely there are new things that you are planning. Could you share with us what new ideas you have for the R RDA Finland and the Node? Uh, well, the things that uh, will continue, I'll start with that. Uh, we will continue with the uh, with events um, and and the newsletter. Uh, there will likely be be webinars. Um, uh, the new things uh, are are just f forming. Uh, this is uh, just a part of my work at CSC, so so uh, I won't be able to to do this full time, but. Um, but of course, the the cooperation with the uh, with the national open science coordination is is something that that needs to be uh, developed and and looked into. Uh, what can come out of out of that? The the current funding from the uh, from the RDA uh, Europe 4.0 project is is. Uh, has a has an expiration date as as every pr project uh, has so so one of the tasks of the national every national node is to create a sustainability plan for the for the node operations how to how to make it sustainable beyond the the european commission support so that is a very uh, important thing of course uh, but uh, what exactly will go into that plan uh, that that is uh, is is on this year's um, w work plan and uh, and all of these things kind of tie in in together uh, national cooperations and and of course the the Finnish committee for uh, for research data is is 
is an important uh, point of cooperation. So, so we'll we'll see um, what uh, comes up, and uh, and so so that's that's uh, something that that I very warmly welcome uh, all all in input and and contacts from from you guys. If you have any ideas what we should and we could do, then then I'm all ears. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Thank uh, you.